Hi everybody, this is Joe. I'm here to do another video on narcissistic personality disorder. And in this video, I'm going to be more talking to the empaths that, that are out there. And what I'm more going to be talking about in this video as far as the empath is that you are, you are entitled to how you feel. You are entitled to how you feel. And what I mean by that is that, you know, you are entitled to your feelings and you are entitled to your emotions. And as far as being an empath, so what you always want to remember is don't allow your emotions to overrule you. You know, sometimes emotions can be good to have. You know, you have emotions for a reason, but do not allow them to to overrule you because sometimes what happens, your emotions can lie to yourself. But in many other cases, if someone done something to you, you know, or someone said something that you didn't like, either they said or done something that you, you didn't like, and you speak up on it, and they make you feel that, you know, how you feel about it, you don't have no right to feel that way about it, or they try to shut you down as far as how you feel. No, you know, that you, you have the right to do that, and you can stand firm to that or so. You can stand firm to how you feel, whether they try to make you feel crazy about it or they try to make you feel like you overreacting or you're too sensitive. I'm here to tell you in this video, no, you're not. You are not overreacting. You are not too sensitive. The way it came out is the way it came out. The way they, you know, the way they said it is the way they said it, you know, and, and, and they know this. They know this. It's just, you know, they don't have no type of sympathy or no type of consideration of how you feel, how you take it, you know, as, as if they just take, you know, they just take you and just treat you like this emotional punching bag or they just feel like you're supposed to just, you know, take a lot of stuff off of them. You don't, you don't have to feel bullied by these type of people anymore or so. And that could be with, with anybody, you know, toxic friends, you know, toxic family members, even with narcissists, narcissist family members or narcissistic people or so, spouses or, or you know, you name it or so. You don't got to take this off of them or whatever. So if, if there's something that you are feeling, you know, if you feel that you 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 want to talk about it, you know, it's okay to talk about it. And what I mean by that, you know, if, if it's something that, that you feel that you have to let someone know, it's okay to let them know. And so what happened most of the time as an empath or so, you're always catching yourself in a situation where you have people who, who are bullies. And they don't necessarily have to be bullies, you know, physically like, you know, when you was in junior high school or high school or, or elementary, anything like that. Some people are psychologically bullies or they mentally bully because what happens is that you don't really want to come to these people and speak how you feel because a big argument will, you know, they, they will attack you or, or they will say something. You know, they, they'll put you in this feeling being inferior. You know, and... and what I'm here to tell you how to build up and build strength up on that or so, you have a right to defend yourself. You know, you have a right to defend yourself and you set boundaries around you. You have boundaries and don't allow these people to cross your boundaries, you know. And what I mean by don't allow these people to cross your boundaries because what these people do, you know, they by impasse, by them being the way they are or so, they, they take kindness for weakness. And what they do, they, they feel that they could just, you know, they could just bully you or, or say things, what they want to say. They, they don't watch what falls out their mouth, what falls out their mouth or so, and they don't care how you take it. And you're holding this stuff in or so, you know, in the inside. And then what they do, they have, and most of the time it'd be the bully people that, that, that do this or so. And most of the time what happens is that, you know, you, you get this inferior feeling, and even if you do speak up, and, it, and they're not hearing you. They're not hearing you. And to the impact that's out there, I'm letting you know, if you haven't found your strength enough right now to do so as far as to stand firm or so, it will come to a time and it will come to that point. 
where you will have, you know, that you will, you know, just get fed up with so much and you don't want to deal with it anymore. And you wouldn't have that fear of inferior, inferior in you anymore. You will stand up to this person. And you will stand up to these people no matter how the circumstance, the circumstances will turn out. You will stand up to these people because it will come to a time enough is enough. Enough is enough. And you will find, you know, you will find that part of you that is indestructible. It's more of a part of you. As far as I'm speaking to the empath, you have a side of you that is just like the incredible hawk. Trust me, it's just a lot of people haven't seen that side of you, but once that side of you come out, you have a side and a raft of you that some people, they, will not, they won't be able to handle. And it may take a few people to get them, you know, to get you off of them or so. <laughs> so a lot of people not aware of that of you or so, but you will come to that point. And it may be to some impact out there probably not there yet, and there's some impact that's out there that's probably already there at that point, you know. At that point, and these people, they start showing you a different type of respect because they won't no longer take your kindness for weakness. And yet at the same time, you have some people who got stubbornness, you know, and they, they got a lot of pride where they don't want to lose. And these are the type of people you just have to just, you don't, just don't have anything to do with them because all they're going to do is try to compete with you and they're going to just do nothing but just challenge you and challenge you. And even if you being challenged and you're not losing, you know, all you're just doing, you just arguing with a fool, fighting with a fool. And I don't necessarily mean that, you know, physically anything, but, you know, just verbally or so, just disputing or whatever. You just find yourself doing this, you know, and, and don't, don't, you know, don't argue with a fool. You know, just, just just walk away because this person don't have no type of common sense or anything. So, you know, be the better person and don't deal with it. You already didn't prove your point to this person. They already know it. They just want to... They just want to pick a battle with you so they could just win and have the last word, you know. A lot of people out there do a lot of childish things, and you are much better than this or so. So, you know, stand, you know, stand firm to your boundaries, you know, and, and you can't, you know, you, you, you can't speak how you feel as far as you are entitled to the way you feel. And don't allow people to make you feel the way you feel is crazy or you sensitive or they won't let you get a word out every time you talk. You know, don't don't listen to them. You you may have been in a situation like that or so, you know, where you talking to someone and all they doing they talking over you or so because by the time they took your kindness for weakness and they don't care what you got to say as long as they're getting their point across. No, no, no. You know, just you don't gotta hear what they say. You know, you just as equal as them and if it's a job, you know, if you if it's a job or so and you feel like it's a boss that's doing this or so or whatever, you know, and they're your boss or whatever, but as far as this is just your job, but as far as personally, if you want to get technical and personal, you know, this person is, is no different. You know, they, they ain't any different than you are or so. They, they ain't any different than you are. So you have bosses that would do this or so, and sometimes what happens, bosses could be bullies or whatever, and try to threat you with your job or whatever, you know. And in your situation, you would know how to handle that. You know, you could apply it to however you can at your situation, at your job or whatever, with these type of people, you know, that, that will do this to you or so. And you have certain situations as well, you know, if you, you're talking to someone and they, you know, you have a lot of things that build up on you, you know, it could be anything. It could be an emotional thing. It could be frustrations. It could be whatever. And a lot of people know that you are impact. And they don't necessarily don't know what the word empath means, but it's the traits of an empath. Basically, you're kind, you're nice, you're generous, you got compassion, and they see that. So basically, in their minds, they saying they don't, they ain't gonna get mad, they ain't gonna say nothing. So, you know what happened? They, they start to puff their chest out with, you know, towards you a little bit. The further, you know, the the further more they walk into you the further more they feel you're just going to back away from them. You, you can stand your grounds and stand right there, no matter how the circumstances turn out to be, you know. You don't have to psychologically back down from, from no one or so. And the reason why I say that is because 
the more they do this, the more they feel like they're going to they gonna rule over you or so. So, like I said, this won't be easy. It will take time to accumulate to come to this point. It, it will take time, but you will reach that point where enough is enough. And remember, Empath, you do have that side of you, that incredible hunk, as I say. So, always remember to stay, you know, to stand firm and you are entitled to the way you feel, no matter what anyone say or so. And most of the time, you know, as far as to the empath or whatever, you know, try not to share a lot of your personal, you know, any personal stories, anything that, that's emotional or anything that's, you know, that's maybe heart feeling as far as heartbreaking stories or in, anything that, that will come off as emotional or anything in and I'm what I'm basically trying to say is that this is not a bad thing. If you do, it's just you have a lot of people that's out there what they what they are doing, they're probing on your weaknesses and they are listening to you and to these type of toxic people, you just coming off to them and they just listen to you as this person, you know, as this person who got a lot of weaknesses and they just looking at you as this person who wear you know, who wear their feelings on their sleeves. Trust me, these type of people who are doing this, these toxic people are no di different or any better than you. It's just the thing is, these are the type of people who hide their emotions. You know, these, these are the type of people who, you know, who always want to hide their feelings. And they're the ones who probably are the ones who shut their bedroom door at night and shed all these tears at night more than a, more than a, a baby or so. You know, that, that's... That may be the case or so. So don't try to allow these people make you feel that you are weaker than them or you are beneath everyone else or so. So you have the right to feel the way you feel. You are entitled to that. Don't allow anyone to make you think anything different. And if these people, you can't get none across to these people, just get away from these people and stand your ground. You don't got to reply to these people. You don't got to sit up and keep your mouth closed to these type of people so they could talk and they could just walk off after they make their point. You can stand your grounds and you could talk just as well as these people can too. So, so thank you very much for watching this video. Hopefully I didn't shine some light on someone day or so. So keep your, your heart shield, shielded. Keep your minds protected. Stay narcissistic free from these type of people. Thank you very much for watching this video, and you have a good one.